Hey there, Wargamers, Josh here to bring you more Warhammer 30k Horse Heresy, whatever you want to call it. It is by far my favorite game. Today, Josh versus Josh, Night Lords versus Imperial Militia. Uh, let's get to the game. And paired with this Heresy Battle Report in the vault. Well, we got more 30k. This game, it's going to be Imperial Army up against the Death Guard. No Primarch, no Mortarian, and a 2,500 point match. If you want more heresy and you want to check this game out, just click on the link down below. We play and call it work. Me Wargaming's Horse Heresy Battle Report. All right, let's get to it here. Start off by taking a look at the Night Lords list. Playing at 2,500 points. Uh, leading the force, I do have a Chaplain, Artificer Armor, and the Headsman's Axe on him. And then technically he's got a Corosius. It counts as a Power Axe, but the Headsman's Axe is what I'm going to swing because it's just way better. Uh, elite choices, I've got a five-man Terminator squad. Uh, we have Combi Meltas all around. Sarge has a chain glaive, then there's two power fists, two chain fists, and they have a dedicated transport Land Raider Phobos uh, with Dozer Blade. Look at my troop choices, they've got a 12-man assault squad. Uh, pretty simple there, Sarge has got Lightning Claws, uh, sorry, Lightning Claw and Melta Bombs. That's it. One Night Raptor squad, so this is one of the compulsory choices because I am running uh, Terror Assault because, I don't know, it's fun to play. So there are 12 there total. In the squad, there's one chain glaive, two power axes, two plasma pistols, and then the Sarge has artificer armor, melt bombs and chain glaive, as well as a plasma pistol, because I don't know, it's what they're modeled with, and I think it looks neat. Terror squads, I have two identical terror squads. That is a 10-man squad with Volkite chargers all around. The headsman has artificer armor and a Nostromon chain glaive. And then uh, we got the Rhino with a multi melta on top of it because uh, it's a fun little surprise when they come in outflanking. So two squads of that. Heavy support choice there, uh, a Sakaran battle tank squadron that has one Sakaran battle tank with dozer blades, and then uh, las cannon sponsons. Other than that, leading the force, the warlord is the lord of terror himself, that is Conrad Kurz. Y'all know what he does, and yeah, nothing else to say about that. That is my 2,500 points worth of night lords. Moving across here to look at my opponent's army. So this is Imperial uh, Militia. What do we got? Uh, we have the 4077th Edrenlock Volks Grenadiers here. Uh, in the HQ slot, we have a Force Commander. He has Carapace Armor, Digital Laser, Mastercrafted Weapon, Planetary Overlord, Plasma Pistol, Power Sword, I think I already said that, Refractor Field, the Muster of Worlds, uh, and he took the Marcher Lord Warlord trait. His two provenances are Abhuman Helots and Survivors of the Dark Age, which uh, confer plus one toughness to all infantry and plus one to their saves. Moving into Elites, I have a single unit uh, of three Medicaid orderlies that will be spreading up into the uh, infantry squads. In the infantry slots, I have two identical Grenadier squads of 20. They have advanced weapons, the Auxilia Laz Rifles, two plasma guns, a Vexilla, and the sergeant has melta bombs. Uh, two identical squads of that, and then one 12-man squad that has uh, 10 Laz rifles, two melta guns, a Vexilla, and the sergeant has a melta bomb. In heavy support, I have two identical uh, militia auxiliary battle tank attack squadrons. Uh, they both have two Lehman Russes with battle cannons and one with the uh, Annihilator turret each. Rounding out the heavy support, I have a heavy ordnance battery. All three of the guns have been upgraded to be Medusas, not taking the breacher shells this time, just going to stick with the, the stock shell. In the Lords of War slot, I have a Baneblade super heavy battle tank. It has a multi melta uh, it has all the Bane Blade weapons, and I did pay for just a single set of the uh, Heavy Bolter Laz Cannon Sponsons. And that is 2,500 points of Imperial Militia. Today we are doing Mission for Dominion. So the way this one works is that the primary uh, objective is the Dominion objectives. There are five objectives across the board. And at the start of each player's turn, they get one victory point for each objective marker they control. Um, 
And then obviously, you know, those just accumulate throughout the game. Uh, secondary objectives, we got Slay the Warlord, except for it's worth D3. We have Attrition, that's also worth D3, and then Price of Failure. We play this game for a grand total of five turns, and then after that, on a four up, we play a six turn, otherwise it's uh, over. Nice and simple. I guess we should probably talk about deployment as well. So we've got the um, Terminators inside the Land Raider there, Pop Curse hanging out with the Night Raptors, Assault Squad hanging out with the Chaplain, my Sakaran, which means that my uh, two terror squads are outflanking. And then obviously, you know, you got a big line of guns. Uh, I gotta be a little bit cagey in how I play this one, because I mean, you will just shoot me off the table if I'm not smart. Um, and I mean, that's just kind of how it goes, though. Because we've got, yeah, the two objectives there, but we've got three over here, which is where your infantry is focused. And surprise, surprise, that's when I'm good at killing. So, uh, yeah. I did deploy first, so I will be going first automatically, unless you want to try to seize the initiative. Oh, yes. Okay, please don't. Oh. There it is. <sighs> Heart attack over. Let's get ready for Night Lord's turn one. I don't get a ton to move. Essentially, it's just four different blobs. I'm going to have to do some pre-measuring and kind of be, again, a little bit smart about where this all goes, but I have a good sense of where it's going to end up. So I'm going to show you where these four units are right now. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the movement. So Land Raider decided to move himself up his full 12. Kurz and the lads jumped over here because I didn't really plan this lane out very well, but whatever, I'll make do. Uh, Assault Squad jumped up with the Chaplain and the Sakaran moved six inches out to go say hello. Uh, now we're going to go to shooting right away and uh, just start with the Sakaran unloading everything into the Lehman Rust Squadron straight ahead. Start with the pair of Laz Cannons, see if I can't uh, dent that paint a little bit. Hitting on threes. That's a good start, but I'm going to have to do better. Uh, you are front armor 14? Correct. And uh, I'm strength nine. Fives. So math says I need fives. I'm just going to roll double sixes though. Ready okay. for it, ready for it. Ah! Oh, five and oh. six! <laughs> ah. I will choose to resolve that first. And uh, so getting plus one to this roll. Ready, ready, ready? Ready. Ba bam Okay, so four goes to a five, which is, I believe, a weapon destroyed. It only has two weapons, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so the main gun is not working. And then he will take a uh, glance as well. Down so he's down to, to, down to one. Uh, good stuff, lads. That's one less blast you're going to have to deal with. Uh, then we've got the twin accelerator, uh, sorry, twin linked accelerator autocannon. So it's going to be six shots hitting on threes uh, with a r roll for twin linked. Oh, that didn't help at all. Uh, I'm looking for sixes because I got a Renja here. This is only a strength of seven. And there's one rend. So D3 to see if it's a glance or a pen. Uh, so I'm only adding one to it, so it's just a glance, and we got one. Good job, little buddy. Okay, happy enough about that. It doesn't really gum up the works as bad as we thought it might, but uh, hey, every little bit helps. <sighs> now you guys, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to run this squad. I get plus one because of the Terror Assault rule. So D6 plus one run. They go two. <laughs> Ending up right there. Uh, so I will control the objective if I don't die. Ah, <laughs> oh, Raptors, you're going to run now. Uh, so D6 plus one. They're going to get to go seven. That is better than two. All right, that's where they end up. And then over on this side, moving flat out with the uh, Land Raider. Uh, super aggressive, because that's the only way that this is going to potentially work at all for me. <laughs> You get a lot of guns, you get a lot of blasts, but I'm relying on the fact that it's automatic knife fighting turn one with the list that I took, and I got some uh, nice juicy saves here. So that is going to be it for turn one Night Lords, obviously not scoring anything the first turn because you can't really start controlling any of these objectives. Um, and yeah, let's get over to turn one for the Imperial Militia. All right, turn one Militia. Uh, where do you want to start your movement, friend? Uh, Is there anything fancy, or do you want to give them a before and after? Yeah, let's just do a before and after, because there's going to be a lot of movement going Little on. finicky stuff? Yeah. So, 
I will put this, I've been saying in my bat reps, tell me what you guys think. Would you rather us show every little bit of movement or just the before and after? Especially these early turns where nothing's like doing anything too fancy. Let me know what you think. Cause I get the answers for the other game systems. Movement is complete. So Bane Blade shift a little bit. Both blobs of uh, guardsmen have moved up. The Russes have started to roll up here. The rest of this is sitting still. Uh, Luca has entered the room, not said anything. Can we do the carriages? Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't know he had those two. That's nasty, dude. Blast time! All right, what blast template you want to mess with first? Well, well before we jump the gun on the blast, uh, these uh, grenadiers, the oh, little... Oh, yeah, that's right, the grenadiers moved over. Yeah, the <laughs> two melted guns are in range of the uh, land raider there. Okay. So they'll go ahead and fire their two melted guns. Uh, definitely, obviously, not in melted range. One hit. And then uh, let's uh, see. Can you roll six? You cannot. cannot. Good, go away. <laughs> Land Raiders. All right, main blade time. Big What's blade. going where? So both of the last cannons and demolisher cannon will shoot uh, forward. Main cannon, auto cannon, basically everything else. I have vultures, yeah. Yep, all into the curve squad. Okay, what do you want to start resolving? Let's go ahead and get the fun one out of the way. Well, let's not and see what we did. All right, uh, landing right there, and we'll see uh, what you cover. All right, so off of Curse's head, and we got to roll deviation. Where's your scatter die, bro? Yep. And uh, scatter die. I forgot. I should have given you one as I'm like yelling at you about it. What's the ballistic skill on it? Oh, oh it's a direct hit, anyways. All right, let's count up what you hit. All right, so you're covering ten models. Strength and nine, so winning on twos. Yeah, that'll do. So you got seven wounding hits. All right, there's at least six before it gets to Kurz. Um, so, Night Lord's turn one. Uh, five of cover save. It's night fighting. Um, so I get the stealth and he confers it anyways. So four up cover save and then Shrouded gets me to a two up cover save. So the first volley of two up cover saves. All right, first volley. We're fine. And then... Oh, it's too dark out. Your guns don't work while it's dark. Two up cover saves. Uh, Gotta love it. You could have not shot at them. Oh, yeah, that's totally an option. <laughs> yeah, let's just... Why bother? Uh, heavy bolters now? Yeah, nine heavy bolters, all twin link. Yep. Rerolling the misses. Are you hitting on threes or twos? Fours. Oh, I don't know why I said threes or twos. Yeah, but yeah. I'm going to say threes or fours. Oh, uh, the reroll. Reroll, yeah. Twin linked. Okay. Converts so one. And then you're wounding me on threes. Three. All righty, let's see what we can't do. Do you punch any off their feet? Oh, you got two of them, yep. So two closest are probably one and two here. And then... Uh, auto cannon. Oh yes, the auto cannon. Can't forget about the auto cannon. One wound. Yep, uh, two up. Okay, yeah, we're fine. So I did lose two of the squad so far. All right, over here. Yeah, demolish your cannon. We'll put it at the very back just yep. to be on the safe side. That's going to scatter towards you anyways. Direct hit. Direct hit. Okay. Solid dice rolls. Uh, Shrink 10, so you're looking for fours, and it's uh, ordinance, right? Yes. Oh. Well, you hate to see it, folks. You don't add them together, you take the highest. Yes. Okay. Um, not great. Last cannons? Last cannons. The last cannonins uh, missed. And then you've got the Pinto mul uh, Multi Malta. Multi Malta. Missed. Woo. Woo. Okay. So you I just see. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna roll really hot over here, and it'll be fine. That's n that's a spicy meatball, there, friend. That's a spicy meatball. Okay, so we've got the Medusas because you want to feel better. Dropping uh, from the one there. Okay, right on, right on his head, eh? Yeah. Yep. So that's on the chaplain's head. Uh, not quite, just because it's but just slightly off. Yeah, just slightly off, just to make sure it catches everyone except those five right there. Okay, sounds good. And then what's your uh, ballistic skill? Ballistic skill is only three. Okay, and you do have line of sight here, though. Yes. And so you're going to go forward uh, three. It catches. Right there. Looks like six. Yeah, it works for me. And then the, because it is a battery firing. Second one. It's going to flip back. Hit four. That's ten. And three. Yep, so 13. 13. All right, friend, you're looking for twos. Twos. All of them. Okay, they all do work. Oh. Oh. Okay, so... 
Huh. All right, so we're gonna try to look out Sir off of the, uh... actually no, who was the one that was uh, directly hit? Uh, it was... Oh, my sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I was gonna say, who cares about him, but he's gonna melt a bomb. Oh, whatever. Uh, we're just gonna start rolling the uh, four up cover saves off of him. So it looks like, uh, no, it's pretty quick until I gotta start assigning to my uh, chaplain. So let's uh, roll these four up cover saves one at a time. Again, night lords and night fighting. So four up. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we're gonna do these as uh, two up lookout sirs yep. off of the chaplain. So he's gonna have to take at least two himself. Um, so he has the, the four up cover. Let's see if he dies. <laughs> Yeah, he's okay. dead. Okay, very good. And then the rest of these, uh, I can just do as my uh, four cover saves for the unit. Bubbling out from there. Okay. All right. Well, you feel better about yourself yet? I do feel slightly better. Six, seven more die. Ow. Ouchie. <laughs> Surprising, uh, surprisingly, ooh. if you shoot artillery designed to take down buildings at Marines, tends to do good. Yeah, yeah. Did not when you fire super heavy tanks. Super heavy vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> They're not designed to kill him, but yeah, they are though. Okay, what's next? Uh, I think we'll jump back over here to this uh, squadron. Lehman squad. Yep. So, um, Battle Cannon Lehman Russ does have my say, and he'll shoot his heavy bolter. pop right there. Yep, and then the Laz Cannon, uh, Twinling Laz Cannon, his heavy bolter won't be able to shoot anything, but he'll go ahead and the fire Laz his... The Laz is going into this Karen. Okay. Karen, yeah, and we'll go cool. ahead and so do the last into the Sakarin first? Yeah. Hitting on fours. So hits. you hit. Fives or six. Nope. Nope. Okay. So don't care. I'm only 13 in the front, but yeah, it still wasn't a good enough roll. Um, and then, uh, yeah, throwing a template down again. Template down. And it looks like we can just see this guy. So mm, works for me. Directed. Okay, cool. So, so three. Yep. Twos to kill. Oh, you gotta get your cover save. Two, two cover saves. Two. Here we go. Uh, okay, one made it. Uh, he died. The heavy bolter can still see. Heavy bolters, yes. Uh, Nothing. Oh, you missed. Take that, nerd. These three guys are gonna get you so good. Yeah. What's next then? This uh, armored company squad will shoot um, battle cannons and heavy bolters. Straight, straight ahead. ahead. Yep. Yep. And then the las cannon from this one. Into that land right over there. Makes sense. You want to resolve that first? Yeah, that's real quick. Hitting on fours. Hits. Nothing. 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 Okay. Armor 14 protects. And then, uh, yeah, let's start throwing down battle cannons. Putting it on Kurz's head. So the first battle cannon. Direct hit, uh, which will count up in a second. And then the second one. That's going to go over three. Three inches, yep. All right. Count, that looks like what? Seven hits? Seven hits in total. Okay. Twos. Twos. Uh, one fail. One fails. All right, we got three before it gets to Kurz. Oh, one guy uh, is dead. Another guy is dead. He's fine. Okay, so two die. Boop. Boop. Heavy bolters. Hitting on fours, I believe. Yes, hitting on fours. Uh, let me just make sure I got six. All right. 50 50. That's yeah, perfectly good. average. Three's to wound. One wound. Okay, two up. Yeah, we're fine. Move over here. This squad's gonna fire. Yes. Uh, so they're going to just go ahead and put all their shots into here. We'll f start with the las guns. Um, so with the Providence of War, uh, survivors of the Dark Age, they paid twenty points to give their las overcharge las guns, basically. Okay. And their las guns are the paid ones, so they're rapid fire thirty inches. So they'll be rapid nice. firing at fifteen, and they are strength four. Cool. So they're basically. Yeah, they're, they're kind of bolters. Bolters, kind of, yeah. All right, the last firing. I'll probably roll yep. them over here just hitting on threes because they are grenadiers. They're veterans. Very nice. Very nice. This is pretty punishing. And wounding on force. Indeed. Ooh. Okay, not that many. Uh, how many we got Looks there? Looks like six in total. All right, I got one before it goes on to Kurs. So let's bang these out. Two up. Two up. Two up, two up, two up, boop. Yeah. Okay, so cool. We've survived that. Now comes the plasma gun, correct? Two rapid firing plasma guns. Okay. First one. Does he get hot? 
He does get hot. He's gonna take an armor save, so roll that now. He fails his armor save, so the plasma gun guy died. Uh, and you got one, one hit, hit so far. <laughs> and again, gets hot. Passes armor okay. save, so you got two hits. Uh, wounding me on twos. So two wounding hits. Uh, so same thing. Cover! Cover! Okay, yeah, we're fine. Whew. Yeah, you get your feel no pain against that Sorry, one yeah, plasma gunner. I forget about him. Yeah, the doctor's trying to put him back together. Ah. Yeah, the doctor says he's fine. Doc says, don't worry about it, guys. It's uh, A-OK. -okay. The other 20-man blob over there will also go ahead and put their shots in because there's no uh, any other target. Yep. Uh, 14 las guns are in range and ha or have line of sight, so we'll go and shoot them. Oh, that's very good. Good, good, solid hit. You're going to wound me on fours. Wounding on fours. There we go. Couple Balances back up. It's still pretty average roll though. Uh, what, another six. Another six. And do these three at a time before it gets to the big man. Actually, um, one before it gets to the Sarge. Good. Not good. Okay, so I got four more to do. Look out, sirs, on a four up. Okay, so he's gonna have to take three of them himself. Uh, we'll do the one that he passed off. Two. It's fine. And then on him, twos. He's fine. Okay, uh, whatever. We got the two plasma gun shots. Yes, first one hits. Next one. Second one. Gets hot. Armor. Fails. Fails. Feel no pain. Uh, he got toasted. And then uh, does that one wound on a two? It does. It does work. Let's go. Look out, sir. Four up. Uh, nope, he's going to take the save, and it's a two up. And he passes, so he's A-OK. -okay. Ooh, OK, tearing them up pretty good. That's it for shooting. I owe you a test over here because they did not like what happened to them. Leadership, not great, but not though. Yeah, not that. <laughs> no! Let's see how far they go. <laughs> I had plus one to that because I'm Night Lords. Not going to lie, that's a big deal because uh, they could have they could have jumped up and probably messed up those artillery. Very uh, dang it! exactly what I needed to not have happen. But that's okay. That's the heresy. So yeah, beating me up pretty good. Um, over to charge phase. Now, you did, we talked about this after Best the fact. Yeah. yeah you probably you didn't want to shoot with them over into there. Yeah, just because uh, the sergeants do have melt bombs and They're the plan was, yep. and then I just, it kind of escaped my mind. I was like, oh yeah. We've been playing a lot of 40K lately, so I'm over here thinking. That's how it goes. I can just do whatever. All but the you time. do have the Grenadiers over there charging? Yes, the Grenadiers. Uh, it is seven inches away, minus two. For the terrain? For the so terrain. nine inch charge. For nine. No. Okay, so failing the charge. And they hang out. I believe that is end of the turn. Um, cool. Groovy. Um, realizing I don't think I hold any objectives as we get ready, but let's go right over to the Night Lord's turn too. Alrighty here, beginning of the turn, I need to see if uh, reinforcements show up. So the first terror squad, does it show up? It does. And then we're gonna roll to see where it shows up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I get to pick. I get to pick. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. And does the other squad show up? They do. Same roll. And I get to pick once again. Okay. All right. Jump back a second. I gotta see if knife fighting continues on a three up. It does with terror assault. Huzzah. I needed that roll for the next turn. All right. The other uh, rhino is gonna show up here, and I'm just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna jump the lads out like so. And uh, this continues the game of hoping for the best. <laughs> Way over on the other side of the battlefield here. Uh, leadership 8, guys. All right, cool. They're back in the fight. Great. Cool. Consolidate and I'm just kind of lick the wall there. As soon as Dad hears about this. <laughs> All right. Can I continue with my movement? Land Raider's going to tuck over here the best it can. And I'm going to... No, that's dumb. Um, what's the best way to do this? Being dumb might actually be the best way to do this. I'm gonna see how far out uh, move through cover I can go with the Terminators. <sighs> Please roll high. Please roll high. <laughs> I can't get out. Oh no, okay. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. That's a shame. That's a shame. 
That hurts my soul. Papa Kurz is not going to <sighs> like this news. Nope. All right, I am now on the stage where I am panicking. Absolutely panic. How did I roll double ones? Because the plan was to get the Terminators out into cover, fire the combi meltas, and then charge that thing. But that ain't gonna work. <laughs> so, so Karen, can you save me? Maybe. I don't like any of this. Uh, Dad decided to leave and go over here. And then uh, the raptors have moved up to here. I really did not need this to go this way. But uh, whatever, we fine. Let's just try to melt some stuff. <laughs> uh, we'll start over here. Uh, we'll throw the multi-melta into that. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Lehman Russ. Juicy rear armor. All right. You know what is the best thing? And I, I say this half jokingly. Single die rolls that matter a lot. No! No, you need to hit! <laughs> no! Okay, that didn't work. Uh, Sakarin, so firing all his guns into that rust there. Oh, we got the uh, Laz Cannons. All right, Laz Cannons. Threes. Okay, that's a good start. And then side armor and a rust is what? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so I need fours to glance. Uh, so there's one glance, you get a five of cover save for intervening. No. Okay. Down to two. And not terrible, not terrible. And then the auto cannon. Come on, little buddy, you can do it. Threes, twin linked. Uh, that didn't help as much as I wanted to. Uh, so strength seven versus, what did you say it was? Thirteen. Okay, so uh, sixes will basically end up turning into pens because uh, of the rend. Gotcha. So there's... One uh, penetrating hit, five of cover. You don't ignore, what kind of penetrating hit is it? No bonuses to this roll. And a four, so you are uh, stunned, I believe. Stunned? Do you got extra armor on him? Uh, do not, no. Okay, yeah, so he's stunned. All right, let's keep the good times rolling. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, last cannon, and we'll put one last cannon into the super heavy. The other last cannon will machine spear it over into that Russ. Okay, so the one into the Russ, Hitting on three, it hits. Uh, roll high, it does not roll high. So it bounces off the rust, and then into the super heavy, same thing. Uh, twin linked. Okay, so that hits. What's the front armor in that, is it 13 or 14? 14. It is 14, okay, cool. Fives and sixes, so a four does nothing. Over here, this rhino's multi melta into the super heavy. It hits. Uh, what's the side and or rear? Here, tell you what, eight plus this, and then we'll check. It's a pen. It's a pen. <laughs> uh, and we'll see what kind of result I get. So at least he's taking a little bit of damage. And I'm looking for a five up here to do extra hull points. And I get it. So the extra D3 hull points. I lose an extra one. So he's down to, what, seven? Seven. All right. Uh, I've rolled worse in the past. Terror Squad firing into the... Uh, Grenadiers. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, uh, these are preferred enemy infantry hitting on threes with the Volkites. So we'll take the ones for re-rolls. So we got a couple misses already. So we'll pull them out. And then we are looking for, you are effectively, you're T4, right? Effectively T4 with the okay. Providence, yeah. So I'm looking for threes to wound, re-rolling ones. Uh, pull these out for a re-roll. Okay, nice. Uh, you got to do that many saves. 15 saves. So with the Providence everything, they have three up armor. And then for every failed, feel no pain, five up. All right, so it looks like we lose three. Okay, so Volkite will kick in for deflagrate. Uh, take two more. Good. Okay. So you only lose a couple. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. As I continue to try to have hope, Kurz will throw uh, batarangs. Twos. Uh, I gotta double check what I have precision on. Yeah, it's a four precision. So I'm gonna precision that into your medic <laughs> and see if I can't do something about him. Uh, I should be wounding you on fours. So it does wound. Uh, it's not AP, anything fancy, it's like five. So. Fails. Yep, and then feel the pain. Good. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Because he's got uh, better armor as well, I assume, right? No, he only has a uh, five up goes to a four up. Five, okay, so yeah, he's fine. Because it's only, uh, it was a five up AP. And then these two. Um, so yeah, there's one more wound, nothing special. Three up, feel no pain. Good. Okay, it's fine, cool. And then I think that might be it for shooting. This is not not the way I wanted to. Well, Raptors charge! <laughs> Uh, into the rusts, obviously. Hey, I made it. You get your Overwatch dice ready? Yes. Uh, get him, Curse! Get him! So I'm, I'm gonna have to roll four more dice. These are just the last guns so okay, far. Okay, yeah. So you just re-roll four of your misses. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't help. So the last guns, how many hits do we get? Six hits. All right, I'm T6. Six hits. Oh, no, five, sorry. Uh, just one. All right, one save. He's fine. Beard. And then uh, the plasmas? Plasmas. First one, oh, he gets hot. Uh, he passes, passes the save, save though, because you're three up. Next one, uh, you got a hit. Yep, so one hit, wounding on three. Okay, four up in Vulm. No, he takes uh -huh. a wound. Charge distance, hey, he's got fleet, he's in. Yeah, Bob. All right, this is uh, great. Ah, <sighs> we're doing that one first. <laughs> I declare a challenge. I will accept with the squad sergeant. Bring him on up. Yeah! He's okay. Like, he's got that grenade, he's like, do it, kill I'll get me! You. I'll get you. Uh, okay, so um, first thing you do is you owe me a fear test. What's your leadership? Not that. Okay, uh, so. Oh no, actually it is, it is that. It you is are exactly minus that. three with fear test against okay, him. Okay, it is that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so, hey, guess what? Uh, you're only hitting me on fives. Darn. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm hitting you on threes. And I need to check something after I roll this. Okay, cool. I didn't get any precision anyways. Because I think I might have precision strike, so I might have been able to actually just poke the brain of the apothecary <laughs> in the back, which sounds hilarious to me. Uh, these are twos to wound with shred. And uh, I think fives and sixes are murderous strike. Well, we'll check that in a minute. Okay, that's, that's still a fail. So yeah, the two sixes, murder strike, so you don't get your feel no pain on that. But you do get feel no pain on these uh, three. That hey. helps for two. Um, so I am only killing a grand total of three. So him, Buff. some closest, Buff. and then uh, it's initiative step not seven or eight or whatever he is. You get to pile in. All right, swing it and you get 10 normal attacks on fives. Cool. Sixes? Nope. nope. Okay. And then you've got the uh, Force Commander, right? Yes, Force Commander with his Mastercraft of Power Sword. He gets to reroll one. Oh, he hits once. Hits once. Power Sword does not wound. Cool. So I win that combat. I only killed what? Two or three? Three. Killed three. So I win the combat by three. What is the leadership? Leadership is nine on the Force Commander. Nine. Okay. So uh, looking for a six. Hey, you're taking off. Figure out your your highest initiative is three, isn't it? It is three, yep. Ain't gonna lie, that's not what I wanted to have happen, but that's okay, that's okay. Uh, initiative three, roll d d6. Okay, uh, I don't think you can get away. <laughs> I think I think my base initiative is higher, than, it is higher than that. But just for fun, yeah, get off the board. All right, before I consolidate, I am the king of terrors. Roll me a leadership test over there. Uh, are you leadership nine on them? Nope. Okay, they're falling back. Off the board. Oh, you're not ele within 11, are you? I am. Dang. Okay. That ain't good for you, friend. You know what? When you're good, you're good. When you're not good, but you're lucky, you're me. <laughs> so that is that uh, other squad wiped out. They do make contact with the board. Edge and uh, run away. And Papa Curs gets a D6 consolidate. Gets to move four. Not going to lie. That's one of the few results that actually kind of keeps me... Uh, it keeps the momentum for me in this game. Uh, now we're gonna go over here and we are gonna pile in against your Russes. All right, we're gonna start off with the Chain Glaives here. I'm gonna be hitting you on threes because you're a vehicle. Okay, perfect roll. And then these are strength five against your rear armor of 10. So I'm looking for um, fives to glance. Five to glance. And these just spread out to the squadron. Okay. Starting with him though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can resolve these in any order. Technically, I rolled them all, so you get to pick first. I would 
say do that first. Glance. So glance, the next closest take takes a glance. And then um, two more pens. Doesn't matter what the result is because he's wiped out. Uh, and then the other one takes a glance, or sorry, a pen as well. And the pen result on that one will be a three, so he's just um, shaking. Alrighty, so the chain swords are gonna look for threes to hit. Okay, solid, solid start. Uh, I am looking for, because uh, I am just strength um, four. four here. So, six so yeah, six is the glance. Uh, but you got what, two hull points left? Two hull points. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh, close. There's one, so he's got one left. And then the question is, can I get the power axes in close enough to swing? All right, so uh, power axe is getting ready. So one does make it in. The other one, he's technically up on top of that, but I don't feel like having a metal model up there, and I don't feel like scratching up Josh's uh, nicely painted tank. So we got the power axe swinging in now. Looking for threes to hit here with the power axe. Okay, perfect start. And then I'm looking for a single five or six to finish him off. And there we go. We got it with a penetrating hit. Uh, it is AP enough that I could maybe cause you to explode on a six, which is just only bad for me. And I don't. Okay, cool. So that is them wiped out. No consolidate off of vehicles, though. Alrighty. Uh, that should be that. Um, pretty solid turn for me. Turn two for the Night Lords. We are going to go over and uh, take a look now and uh, do turn two for the Imperial Militia. Alrighty, movement phase. This is kind of your last hurrah here to try to get yourself back into the game. I've got some overwhelming momentum going on, but uh, you still got plenty of punch left with some of these vehicles. So uh, we're going to show you where everything begins the movement phase. We'll give you some very precise measuring and show you where it all ends up. Alrighty, Super Heavy has moved and pivoted a little bit just to get line of sight to where we want to get the shots because, again, you got to kind of destroy this flank before they come and try to deal with you. And as we move across, we've got your artillery set up as well as your uh, tanks have now blocked in my tank. So, um, where do you want to begin the shooting, sir? Uh, we'll start over here, the grenadiers that moved up. Uh, two melt guns. Yep, are they in melt range now? Uh, let me double check. Uh, they are definitely both in melt a range hitting on threes so we got hits and those are the first one rolling 2d6 you're looking for a yeah that's a pen and then the next one uh, that's a pen so all i'm gonna get is i've got a six up cover save for being night fighting still uh, let's see if this works beards i made one failed one because of course i would and the result here five six uh i'm immobilized Okay, uh, any more shooting from them? Uh, not from them, but uh, we'll keep the target the same, and we're gonna jump over to here. Okay. The squad, uh, Laz Cannon, into the... Uh, Land Raider? Land Raider, yep. yep. And we'll go ahead and pop his uh, Battle Cannon into these... <laughs> Night Raptors? Night Raptors. Yeah, that totally works, and then you've got no hull weapons out of line of sight, correct? Correct. Okay, so you wanna do the Laz Cannons or the... We'll do the Laz Cannon. Okay. Hitting on that. Nothing. Yeah, okay. So Land Raider continues to protect, and then we've got the Battle Cannon. Look at a drop right there. And that's, uh, for all intents and purposes, a direct hit. So it'll be everyone except him. Okay, so that's uh, six to me. And luckily I'm amongst some wrecks, but you're wounding on two still. Okay, so we got four wounding hits. All right, I gotta have a four up cover save here because of the wrecked vehicles, and then the night fighting still going on for stealth. And gonna lose the front two. Go boop. And then uh, Axe Boy, I think, is the next closest. I guess it's two dead. All right, what it's, uh, what's next? Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put the Medusas in there as well. Medusas, yeah. Danger close fire mission here. And Ooh. you are ballistic skill uh, very three. Bad. Yeah, that's not what you wanted. So that's gonna scatter off and land. It's enough that you can flip back onto me. So we'll put that down right there. Actually, yeah, put a, put a die underneath the center hole. First flip, direct hit so you get to pick where it goes. Hey, oh yeah, hey, guess what? You hit, uh, is that all five? Four. Four, okay. Next one. Uh, Flips kind of on an angle there. You're gonna get what? Nothing. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it's more like that. Like... Okay, so you get what, four hits? Four hits. Okay, so same thing. You are looking for uh, twos to wound me. So we got three wounding hits. 
Uh, and actually, that's coming from back there, so that goes Axe Guy, then the Sarge. So, oh no, uh, I'm only on a 6-up because of the night fighting. All right, so the Axe Guy, uh, he's dead. And then the Sergeant is going to try to look out Sir both of these. He does look out Sir both of them, and then I'm on 6-ups. No, I fail him. Okay, so Axe Guy is dead, and the next two closest to him. Sarge, you're dead. I got two left. And super heavy time. Big boy. Uh, yeah, I assume super heavy wants to go before. Oh yeah, that's what I already shot. Yeah, yes. they already shot. So um, what's going where? Effectively, uh, last cannons multi melta into yep. to him. Everything else, uh, demolisher cannon, heavy bolters, auto cannon into these guys. The main cannon, however, is going to take a pot shot all the way back here. Can barely see that, and he's going to try to take out some of those. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, that's a risky shot, but uh, that's kind of the uh, stage you're at right now. So, where, which gun do you want to fire first? We'll start with the Demolisher Cannon. Yeah, so, oh, hey, guess what? You're going to clip uh, the Rhino if you hit this. Uh, so, you're going to go over uh, Let me check this. four. No, that hits eight Marines and my tank. <laughs> so, the eight Marines? Twos. Okay, so we got six, six saves there. All I'm going to get is a, a six-up cover save for being knife fighting. Okay, so five are dead. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then, uh, hey, so bad, what's next? Oh, yeah, do the rhino. Rhino, uh, it is ordnance. Yep. So, uh, so 14. It, oh, yeah, it does penetrating hit all day. Uh, is the AP one or two? I believe he is AP one. AP one? Let me double check. AP two, so a six will blow me up. Uh, four goes to a five, so it is a uh, weapon, weapon destroyed. I got two of them. I got a combi bolter and I've got a multi melta. So multi melta on a four up. Okay, so combi bolters ripped off. And what's next? Heavy bolters. Yep, many twin linked heavy bolters. Oh, okay, that was pretty accurate. <laughs> and uh, looking for threes. And that was the point of the bat rep where I checked to see if the sergeant has artificer armor. All right, Sarge. Ready to eat these heavy bolters? Two up. Two up. Two up. Two up. Two up. Two up. Now oh, he's dead. Three up. He's fine. Blech. Auto, Auto cannon. cannon. One hit. It wounds. Three up. Yeah, he's fine. And then you've got the, was it the last cannons into the rhino? Two last cannons into the rhino. Gotcha. One hit. Uh, side armor 11, so two up to a glance. Uh, so it's a pen. What kind of a pen is it? Uh, it goes to a four. He's uh, stunned. He's not a threat to you this turn. <laughs> now going way downtown. Putting the driving wheel right there. Yep, that'll do. Ooh, six okay. inches. <laughs> no, my Marines! <laughs> So just the yeah, it's just the Marines! <laughs> yeah! I'll just roll the real quick. Yep. Uh, twos, of course. Okay, so we got two winning hits. Uh, I'll be on a four up because of cover and night fighting. Yeah, they died. <laughs> 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 These three idiots behind him behind the box is like, don't worry, we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, two. All the way across the map. <laughs> Oh, I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. You hate to see it, folks. Um, what else? Do you, is that it for shooting? Or do you get more? Yeah, it was only three units shooting. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, leadership test on him. He's fine. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Maybe this, maybe this position is just a okay. Uh, the Raptors. Sergeant's still left alive. Uh, I kind of want to look that up. They are. They are leadership nine. Okay. Um, oh yeah, these fine gentlemen over here. Uh, leadership eight, uh, eight, I believe. Yeah, and then whatever, they're hanging out. And they didn't love what happened, but they're uh, accepting of it. And then, I think that's it, isn't it? Charges. Oh, yes, I forget about these fine gentlemen. Do, 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 Charge do. distance. They're in. Eh, charging in like so. Uh, you get to pile in three inches. It's right. just the sergeant needs to get in yeah. there. He's got to melt the bomb. Okay. So uh, I'll go ahead and just roll that real quick. And it hits. Misses. <gasps> They're not weapon skill for them. No. Oh, give me a minute. 
I'm gonna mobilize. I'm pretty sure that auto hit. So roll one more die. That's the first part of your. Okay, cool. Uh, that is a penetrating hit. And with plus two to this, it uh, goes to a five. So weapon destroyed. Which weapon gets destroyed? One, two, three, four, five, six. Heavy, boulder. heavy boulder's gone! All right. Okay. Well, uh, there's been much worse that's happened before with uh, that kind of stuff. And I think now that is end of the turn. Uh, things. This this might be a wrap-up turn, but we'll see as we get ready for Nightlord's turn three. All righty. Let's see if the night fighting continues on a beard. No, it doesn't. Okay, lights are on. <laughs> they can see us now. Uh, but that's probably okay. Let's uh, get to the movement. This is going to be pretty simple, guys. I'll show you where everything is currently. So I've got the little remains of a terror squad there. Some of the lads. And then uh, over here. Alrighty, I'm going to show you from this side of the board because it just kind of makes more sense at this point. Um, so Sakarin just pivoted. The one lone assault guy jumped over. Uh, the Raptors have moved up to the artillery crew. Terminators have gotten out to start to hopefully menace this big fella. And then um, Kurz jumped over. Terror Squad moved up. We're over to shooting. He's stunned. He ain't. Uh, oh, he can snap shoot. So we're going to snap shoot a uh, multi melt at you. You ready for the uh, lucky six? It's a five. We have the Volkite shooting into your Guardsman squad there. I need to rescue my Land Raider. Threes to hit. I'm going to miss once. These are going to be threes to wound. We're rolling ones. Pull the fails out. So we got four wounding hits. And so two fails. Two feel pains. So one actually dies. T flight great. Uh, one more wound. And he's fine. Yeah! Next up, we got five of the Kami Melta shooting over. I might as well uh, shoot him this turn. Hitting on threes into the big fella. So I'm going to have two misses. And then I'm looking for fives to glance, six to pen. Because I'm not in melter range. So one penetrating hit, plus two to this roll. And it does uh, not get the explode result, so just one more hell point down. You got six left. Uh, Curse is going to throw batarangs at you. <laughs> go, go get him. Um, so two hits, one precision. So again, precision will go after your medic, uh, wounding him on a four. Okay, so the six is n AP two, no invuln saves. Not instant death though. Yep, I got him right in the eye. That was the feel no pain. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I, he felt pain. Uh, then the other ones I'm wounding on uh, fours. Uh, uh, don't. Cool. And, oh yeah, I got shooting over here to take care of. Over on this side of the board, there's a Karen, we'll double tap. We got the last cannons going this way, and obviously the uh, turret's going that way too. But the last cannons first, hitting on threes, we got one hit. The side is uh, 13, right? 13, yeah. Okay, so cool, looking for a four to glance. So the one glancing hit, you get a five up cover save. Ah! Cool. Six auto cannon shots going over there. Threes, twin linked. That didn't help. Uh, and then I'm looking for uh, seven versus a third. So sixes will pen, basically, because of the rending. Okay, so we got two penetrating hits. Uh, you get to your two five-up covers. Don't make them. Uh, see what they are. It is a uh, shaken and a weapon destroyed. He's got two guns, right? Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Heavy bolter. Nice. All right, we're going to have the Pinto multi melt to shoot over then. See if I can't get him. Uh, hitting on uh, three. That hits. Uh, melt the range. Uh, so that is a penetrating hit still. No cover because we're right next to each other. And what's the result? Uh, you blow up, but uh, it doesn't matter. He's still just, uh, you know, a smoldering wreck now. I'm not going to bother shooting these guys. We're just going to go right over to charges. We will start with the Raptors charging to the artillery crew. How many crew are technically supposed to be there? 12. There's 11 there, but yeah, that's fine. To be 12. So they do all have las guns and they will all be rapid fire. Blaze away. Two. Okay, hey, that's enough to kill. Ah, ah, ah. No. Okay. <laughs> and charge distance. 
enough. So we'll make contact. Boop. Boop. And there we go. And uh, let's go Kurs next. Charging into the guardsman there. And with an eight. Ooh, it's the Night Lord's number. That's enough to bring him in. And then uh, we got the Terminators charging the big fella. I gotta roll pretty high to make this one. Uh, if it's a 10 or more, we'll check. Uh, I rolled an 11, because of course I did. Yeah, it was like a nine or 10 I had to make there. Um, you guys are fine where you're at. And let's just go over to the uh, combats. Uh, we'll start with uh, the big man himself. And uh, he'll say, hello, is it me you're looking for? Uh, oh yeah, let me just think of the right order of this. Fear test. Yeah, with their leadership eight or nine or something? Eight. Yeah, they failed. They would have failed with the penalty. Uh, we also have the, I'm gonna issue a challenge. I'll deny. Okay, and then the, so the sergeant doesn't get to fight. And then the uh, D3 hammer of wrath that he gets that I forgot last time. So two hammer of wrath, strength six. Uh, there's one wound there, you get your full save. Yeah, he's fine. And now we get to swing, seven attacks. These are looking for threes. Okay, we got two fails. And then uh, we are looking for twos with shred. Yeah, so they all work. Uh, so that should be five dead men. Alrighty, uh, your lads get to pile in and swing. Except for the sergeant, if he's still alive. He died. Okay, well, that works. Uh, so you're making what, four attacks? Sure. Let's see what you got. Fives. Nope. Okay, I won combat by uh, enough. Yep, they're not sticking around on leadership nine. You're good at rolling really high and then really low. <laughs> uh, you can't, yep, yeah. cool, I caught you. Even with a one. Cause I'm like initiative, I think it's seven or eight. Uh, D6 consolidate. Yeah, he gets to go five. Boop. Hang out there. Terminator's now gonna go ahead and pile in. And uh, we'll do the chain fists first because they're kind of the important ones. So I should have grand total of six attacks, hitting you on uh, threes. Okay, two misses, perfectly average. And then what's the rear armor on a Beyblade? I believe it is 10. Yeah, it's 12. Uh, so four is, to uh, four is to glance here. So the first one, uh, pen, 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 and pen. So four penetrating hits. Uh, these are AP, remember where the chain fist is? Is it one or two? No idea. Looking for sixes to cause D3 additional hull points to it. And there's none in there. So we've got the power fists now. Uh, again, this is throwing six attacks total, hitting on threes. Again, perfectly average. And these are looking for fours to glance. There we go. Enough glances to finish you off. We gotta get the big template out. All right, so the template gets centered on him and then it scatters. Yeah, uh, it, it, I think it just stays where it's at. Roll a d6 to see how big of an explosion it is. It's the two, so I don't think it's one of the big, big ones. Okay, so looking at that, the inner ring, uh, which hits one Terminator, strength D, so roll me a D6. Dead. Okay, so he's just gone. <laughs> no saves of any kind allowed. Uh, and then the other ones are hit by a strength eight. And three wound. All right, yeah, so that explosion, it's uh, AP three. So I get my two up Terminator save. So I lose one more, so two die. All right, and then everything else getting hit by strength four. Okay, so we got one wounding hit. AP not great. It still kills the guy. Boop. And then, uh... Curse. curse. Nice, fine. He doesn't care. All right, cool. And then that thing is a wreck. And we've got one other combat over here, which is against the guns. So you're going to roll me a fear test, good sir. I don't know if it's a minus one. We'll check if it... No, you rolled a nine again. <laughs> You've only ever rolled nine for them. Thanks for making that those rolls easy. Uh, uh, cool. Let's, um... Oh yeah, no, I get impact attacks too. All right, so I get some impact attacks. I should be wounding you on these guys T4 as well. Uh, yes. Okay, so fours. There's two wounding impact attacks. What's the save on them though? No save. No save. Okay, so two of the crew just bleh. only take one away though because you had uh, one less model than you should. Yes. 
All right, we got four attacks with the chain glaive. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting you. You failed your fear test, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So I'm higher weapon skill, um, but I don't get the out number. I'm trying. Yeah, the out number that never came up in this game. So threes to hit with the glaive. Two misses. Uh, twos to no, sorry, threes to kill. So there's one dead guy. That would have been around anyways. And then we've got the chainsword swinging in. Threes. And then threes. So there's two more. No, sorry, uh, that would have been fours. Because you're T4 on them, right? Yes. So, yeah, good. And then all the crew get to swing back at me. Have at it. Okay, so bloody murder kicks in. You've got one automatic wound assigned to you because I removed one with a combat attack. So one more guy dies, and now you get to swing back at me with the remaining stuff. Uh, you got one hit, which fails to wound. Uh, so I win combat. I think this is kind of a foregone conclusion, but hey, yeah, you rolled an eight, and I won combat by more than that, and then, yeah, you're gone. So that, I believe, is safe to call. It was probably safe to call earlier, but, you know, we had more stuff to show off. So that is going to be a Night Lord's victory. This crew runs away, and all you're going to have left is that happy little Lehman Russ there, which will, you know, get bullied by these guys. Uh, so let's get ready for post-game chat. Thank you for checking out this battle report, everyone. Don't forget, paired with it in the Mini Wargaming Vault, released today, if you want more heresy action, is an Imperial Army versus Death Guard matchup. It'll be 2,500 points, and if you're not a Vault member, but you do want to check it out, all you have to do is click on the link down below to sign up for a 7-day free trial where you'll have access to that battle report, as well as the rest of our Horus Heresy content and the rest to come, in, in addition to all the other you know, Wargaming-related content that we do release. You can cancel right afterwards. We just find that most people stick around, and it is the Vault members that allow us to continue making the content that you know and love. The Vault members are the big support for Mini Wargaming. Now... I'll let you get back to your day, watch the rest of the video, and enjoy that post game. I'll catch y'all later. All right, here we come, post game chat time. Whew. Not gonna lie, uh, I don't think that could have went better for me. Um, I had everything kind of come together on that one, but uh, what, what do you think, Josh? Give us your your first impressions here. Uh, it, it was rough. Um, that that. Whole, all basically all my infantry leaving <laughs> turn two um i just kind of took the wind out of my sails i can't blame you on it like we that was the because you were you were what leadership eight on them or something yeah leadership eight so you failed by one which was bad yeah. like that already is kind of rough but that's not that unbelievable it you had to roll an 11 to make it to the board edge and you did yeah it was um. it was literally like I was like, oh, you know, maybe I was holding it at a weird angle. And then I went to, I was like, no, yeah. It yeah, we shut the camera off and double checked. Just hanged over the edge. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, people have always been like, oh, you know, you know, man, Night Lords, and they might not be as scary against, you know, like regular Marines is like, but, you know, they're really good against like humans. And this, this battle report demonstrates exactly that. Yeah, it works out well when you can bully. Oh, yeah. Um, the because I mean like that's the thing when you look at the the outnumber bonus that never really came that didn't come up once I shouldn't say not not yeah. really that literally did not come up once. Uh, Night Lords Legion special rule under the current edition is uh, cover safe turn one, like that is the rule and you got to kind of plan for that and make use of that as well as you can because that's the only real kind of guarantee. But uh, yeah, uh, abnormal for Kurs to kill, the, technically that was 43 infantry models, if you want to count it that way, mm -hmm. in one turn. Um, it was roughly 500 points worth of infantry. Yeah, and then your your HQ. Well, the, no, that, no the, like the squad itself was 180. Yeah. But then with uh, the HQ and the apothecary in there brings because you you put all the points into the force commander because he's the one who unlocks all the different stuff. And the providences was, and all that. Yeah, he was like by himself was over two hundred something points. Really? Yeah. He's oh, because the providence is what you're paying for. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But then I also was just you know looking for points places, so I was just like, yeah, let's give him everything. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, like, looking at that, turn if I didn't get turn one, that would have been obviously a completely different talking point because I would have had to take at least two turns of getting bombarded. And then um, Night Fighting Continuing was a nice little bonus, but honestly, like, the, the two, for me, key points in this game are the fact that I had turn one, 
Uh, so I was able to get up the board and not have to take a second turn of shooting. Because we saw what one turn of shooting did to my army. Um, it tore him up pretty good. And then Kurz's lucky rolls for, you know, uh, being able to wipe that squad out. And then, um, you know, obviously the, the, the running them down, which keyed into the, the Lord of Terrors or whatever it is. King of Terrors? Uh, whatever it's called. And have the other squad run, which was blocking my land raider yeah because my plan was with them um next turn i was going to try to move them up along with the 12 man grenadier squad and what i was going to do is i was just going to completely bubble wrap the um the land raider in the hopes that you know trying to keep his terminators uh in there for another turn uh, but then I totally forgot that, you know, Kurz was literally right there and he was just going to charge in and mulch him up anyway. But, um... Yeah, I was... So my assumption when I was looking at it was that I was going to... I was going to charge into that squad and stay there for a turn. And then I, I, I made the assumption you were going to hold. Um... And when that didn't, because then if you had held uh, on at the end of your turn, because I, sh I should be super safe in combat. Like, you're not going to hurt me there. Yeah. Uh, I 3d6 hit and run out, and that gets me over to the guns, which I can then charge. Um, and I thought that's how it would end up going and whatever. I was going to have to just lose the one flank. But yeah, uh, King of Terrors coming in hilariously huge. And then, I don't know, your ability to roll really high when you don't need to and roll really low when I needed to. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Any big, uh, like, was there, at the end of your first turn, how were you feeling after, you know, shooting the crap out of me? Um, uh, yeah, it, it felt good to, you know, kill, you know, majority and have them run. Um, I was like, okay, you know, I don't have to worry so much about that flank, uh, like, as much. Um, you know, but you know when the when you have an enemy primarch turn one or turn two yep. uh, yeah turn one you I knew he was going to basically be charging turn two and then I knew I only had one turn of shooting and uh, it wasn't nearly as strong enough I was really banking on destroying that land raider turn one yep uh, and I just couldn't do it. And, uh, yeah, because your bane blade just bounced off it entirely. Yeah, I rolled a whole bunch of ones and twos. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was just it, it was just a combination of the dice rolls uh, didn't go how I would have liked them to, and um, and you know I know some people are probably going to be like, oh, why, you know, you know, why'd you bring you know a primark against you know humans? I. I, I 100% said, yeah, dude, bring a Primark. I don't care. It's like, I've, I've got, you know, these Medusa guns that are pretty crazy. Um, so, I mean, I you know, the fact that it was a Primark, you know, much less Kurz, was like, that didn't bother me. I knew he was going to do exactly what he did. Yeah. I didn't expect him in one turn to completely just delete effectively half my army. Yeah, I um, I will admit I did not expect that either. Because like I said, it had to be the perfect storm of rolls that you had to yeah. you had to fail combat and that one whatever. Like I I wasn't that surprised when I won combat and you ran. I was hoping not. Um, I think you know I'm more used to like the um, oh what are they uh, the 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 more advanced humans. Help me out. The solar auxiliary. Because yeah. a lot of them are leadership 10, sometimes can't be mod. Like leadership 10, stubborn, dumb stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, wiping that squad out, cool. But then you had the other squad. And that was kind of, you know, that was the next turn thing. And he was going to kind of sweep up and he'd be able to chew them up. But yeah, uh, King of Terrors. Uh, I've never had it be that effective. Because uh, you were more than far enough away from the board that you, realistically, you had to fail a leadership 8 test and then roll an 11. Yeah. And, uh... Just, but yeah, like you said, perfect storm. Because um, I think you would have beat me up pretty bad otherwise. The only other, the only thing, I, the, 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 the back and forth is, like, curs with a squad, obviously, Night Lords. Doesn't make it functionally immune to fire, but kinda. Um... Because I wasn't sure where the Medusas were going turn one. I figured that they'd go into one of the Blobs or the Land Raider. But... Yeah, and I was thinking about going into the Land Raider. Um, but 
those uh, assault marines were just so nicely packed together. I was like, I can't yeah. not do that. Um, and obviously it worked because you killed them. To, uh, you killed what the uh, nine of them or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah, they, they were down to three, so I don't know how many exactly. Well, the one says, "Oh no, no, no!" Uh, there was thirteen that started because the chaplain was with them too. That's right. So I, and yeah, I'm I pretty sure you landed a shell on his face. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, that and uh, like going into turn two, um, I didn't expect the you know like seven raptors or so. I didn't expect them. To be able to strip seven hull points yep. off my Lehman Russ is taking out a whole Lehman Russ squadron uh, in a turn. Yep. That really hurt. Um, turn, yeah, so like turn, uh, turn one, I was just like, oh, geez, like this is, it just really all of a sudden went into a huge uphill battle. And then turn two happened and that Lehman Russ squad died. And I was looking around at everything, and both your stuff showed up on the flanks, and I was like, yeah. I was like, that's, that's, that's unfortunate, but, I mean, you know, what can you do? Dice be dice. It feels kind of Night lords -y. That was one, I'll admit, like, at the end of your turn one, I'm like, crap, like, I... I gotta try some really weird stuff to make this work. Like, both of the squads showing up on the flanks, cool, that's... It, it did help. Mm -hmm. Um... But I mean, like the multi melts didn't do that much work off the bat, no. and it was it was the the big play. And I get yelled at enough when I do stuff like that of splitting Kurz off from his bodyguard squad. But obviously, like the long bomb worked, and then knowing how many blasts you had, like the easiest way to get a million hits onto Kurz with your list is to have him with a squad. Um, so you're hitting multiple things with blasts. I'm like, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, Kerr's going to run off his own, and you can shoot him with three Medusas, but they're going to get a maximum of one hit each on him. So exactly. who cares? Uh, and yeah, but definitely he was, I dare say this is the most effective he, he's been in any bat rep ever. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely thought the regular humans were just going to beat the snot out of me right away. And I mean, turn one, obviously, with the blast and all that, they kind of did. Um, you stripped off. In that turn, uh, about half of my raptors, even though I had a two-up save, and you completely neutralized the, um... Assault squad. assault squad and the assault squad was going to be pushing up because they would have done the same they would have shredded a rust squadron on their own um but yeah with when you've played other because you you really haven't played against the night lords a ton in the past right no mostly the people i play against uh, is uh, an iron warriors and a death guard okay. player and the iron warriors one it's basically just like a shooting match like i'm on my side of the yep. board you're on your side of the board he you know sends up forward a couple things um but there's not too much of uh, you know close combat really in those kind of games. Death Guard it happens more more so, but yeah, I've never really haven't really gone up against an army that is effectively in my face turn one. Yep. And all of a sudden I'm having to do target priority and I'll have to really hope that my dice are hot because I'm only gonna probably get that one good turn of of shooting in before uh, it all just starts coming down around me. Stuff hits the lines. Well, that's the other thing too. Like you said, you didn't expect me to be able to punch through like a squadron of Lehman Russes with a yeah. half a squad of Night Raptors. Um, but they're pretty legit in combat still. Uh, getting to swing against rear armor. Um, well, they're not fighting dreadnoughts. Uh, so yeah, the Medusas, yeah, scared the crap out of me, but this was, uh, <laughs> this was the perfect storm for the Night Lords. Any any closing thoughts for people at home? No, it was uh, you know it was unfortunately you know for, you know for y'all watching it it wasn't the most maybe entertaining. I still had fun. Uh, you know it was there was a couple we were having laughs at uh, you know different stuff that was going on and um, you know the laughing at the fact that this. 525 point bane blade can't even scratch a land raider turns yep. around he's like okay well surely with all of its weapons it'll can kill a 10-man marine squad no no can't even do that okay <laughs> it's, yep it's yep. uh yeah, it's it's just one of those things no still still had fun is um it's just some 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 of those days the dice just uh betray you it, yeah utterly <laughs> well you know what i'm gonna bank on this one that the viewers still had a lot of fun watching and there was that's the thing is that if you had the full understanding of like 
how lucky I got turned to. It yeah. kind of was a nail biter. Like I definitely like oh, you definitely. had you had the momentum at that point um, to just continue to steamroll me off the board, and that was the only way I could do that was curse as a force multiplier and just try to wipe out more than his value in infantry in a turn, which should not happen. Yeah, it, no, it, like definitely there there was still turn you know turn one or turn two. It wasn't completely over. There was still stuff I could have done. Um, but yeah, it just... Then it, your Bane Blade whiffed. It, it, it just, yeah, the Bane Blade whiffed. Um, and it just became really a game of, you know, I have to... Target priority had to be on point, uh, And it really wasn't. Because, um, uh, well, you know, the, after everything that had happened. And then I was just, you know, I really needed certain shots to connect and uh and unfortunately they didn't but i mean that happens so i mean there's not much you can do about it uh except you know because i mean by and far this you know the the imperial army list is not a bad list it's no it's a solid list really that's a list. really scary list and like the, this is the only way i could play the night lords is just exactly. bum rush you turn one and hope for the best yeah because otherwise it could have very easily swung the complete opposite direction and it would have just been watching uh, baseline humans just shoot a bunch of night lords to death. Yeah, before they even got into combat. Well, for sure, and that was the um, <laughs> that was the thing is that uh, I think you know you the attrition match. I cannot come close to this list. I could not touch you in an attrition game. It's just precision. <laughs> yeah, precision. precision and luck with the night lords. Yeah, definitely. But that's how it should be. That's how they kind of fight. I'd like to imagine what it was is you know. The, the the head cannon for this is, you know, Kurz is having one of his moments where he gathers up his bodyguard and says, okay, let's go fight. And they just immediately scramble rush any close by forces to him. You know what I mean? Where pull, it's out like, their, pull out their, uh, you know, like, hey, you know, let's see what these world eaters are talking about. Just blindly rushing the closest enemy. Let's line. just rush forward and hope for the best. Because there's nothing, because part of the theme of the list is I didn't want to have anything that moved less than, that was capable, that wasn't capable of moving at least 12 inches a turn. And that doesn't include like runs and stuff like that. You know yeah. What I mean, like I wanted base move everything to be able to go at least twelve inches a turn, and I like those that that kind of fast concept. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, you viewers enjoyed it. I believe you did. Leave some comments. Leave some love. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. Keep being awesome. And as always, happy wargaming.